Hi guys, Nikhil here and welcome to Salesforce Troop. And today we'll learn how to deploy your Lightning Web Component open source to Heroku in five steps. So last year, Salesforce open source his Lightning Web Component framework. So if you are not aware of this open source framework, you can go to lwc.dev URL. I'll add this URL in the video description. So now you can build your open source application like you build with the React JS and Angular JS. Similar way you can build your application with Lightning Web Components. And it supports all latest web standards. It's lightning fast and easy to learn because it's using the HTML, JavaScript and CSS. That is the base for all web development. So let's see what all five steps we're going to cover today. So in first step, we'll create the Lightning Web Component open source app. After that, we'll set up the Heroku and create the Heroku app. After that, we'll create the proc file that is required to tell Heroku what to do at the runtime. And in step four, we initialize the Git and add a Heroku remote to existing Git. And in last step, we'll do deployment and test it. So let's go to our VS code. Open the terminal. So first we'll create the app. For the command for creating the app is npx create lwc app and your app name. I'm giving here my app name is my app or I'll say Salesforce group. So I'm writing npx create lightning web app and the app name is Salesforce group. press enter so it will create the app for us with the name of Salesforce troop it will ask some basic question do you want to use this simple setup press enter yes what should be the package name for npm I'll go with the default by pressing enter do you want to create a standard app or a progressive app? I'll go with a standard web app. Uh, do you want a basic Express API server? I press enter and it consider it as a no. So now you can see in your VS code, the folder is ready with the name Salesforce troop. That is the same name that we have given to our app creation. So it's setting up the app it download all the necessary packages that is required to run the lightning web component app so now our app is ready let's run it just to make sure that things are working fine to run the app you need to type npm run watch and press enter okay before that you need to go inside the project folder that is cd salesforce troop and now i'm inside this folder now i need to run the app by the command npm run watch start the server and now if you navigate to this local host 3001 you can see our base structure given by the app so it's generating some random text which means hello and this there is a button learn lwc and some text in an image let's uh, go to our slide so we are good with the step one 
in which we first create the app then we go inside the app and then we run our app now let's go to the step 2 in which we'll set up the Heroku and Heroku app so if you are using Heroku for the first time you need to go to this URL https signup.heroku.com and you have to create a free account over here so once you create your account you're done with your account go to the second URL in which you need to download the CLI or set up the Heroku CLI in your machine so once you navigate to that URL you have three ways to set up based on your OS so if you are using Mac OS you can either download it from brew or if you are using window you can download the installer directly and if you are using Ubuntu you can use the command line in my machine I already completed that setup so I'll go to the third um, third point in which I'll just make sure my Heroku is set up properly Heroku CLI I'll stop the server here I'll clear my command line to make sure your Heroku is set up type Heroku minus V if it returns the version it means your Heroku is set up correctly after that you need to log in into Heroku. There is a command Heroku dot uh, Heroku space login. Press enter. So by this command, you are connecting your code base with the Heroku. You are authorizing your code base to connect with Heroku. So as I typed Heroku login, it's ask press any key to open the browser to login. I press enter. So it will open a new tab in which it asked me to log in to Heroku CLI. I click login. And now it's saying you can close this page and return to your CLI because it's already authorized me. I'll go back to VS code. Now you can see login is done. Login as nixlr at the red.com. And last step will create Heroku app. So for creating an app, you just write Heroku space create so it create an app for you it generate a random name for your app so you can see it generated an app name morning hyphen beach hyphen 11072 for me and it generate a git URL that is very helpful for deployment so this is our remote git URL so you need these two links going forward so i'll take open a new terminal go to the project and now we are good with the step two we already create the app we already set up the heroku let's go back to our slides now we'll go to the step three in which create the proc file and which tells the heroku what to run when we spin up the server so I'll go back to VS code under the root folder. I'll create a proc file and I'll write the step for web run npm run serve. So if you want to see what I'm trying to do is you can go to package.json and in package.json under the script file there is a command called serve that will go to the script slash server.js and it start our project so i'm telling to server when i'm in a web run my this command npm run serve so we are good with our third step creating the proc file let's go back to the slide Let's go to step four, initialize the Git and add a Heroku remote to existing Git. Let's go back to our command prompt. I'll go to second terminal. Now, first we initialize the local Git. For that, you type NP, uh, Git in it. It initialize the Git. After that, we'll test the changes. Add dot, it takes all the files. 
accept a file that is mentioned in the git ignore so it ignores the node modules after that we'll commit this file by the command git commit minus m means message and i'll give first commit as my message press enter so it we committed the all the changes or all the file to our local git now let's connect our local git with the remote git so go back to your first terminal and copy the remote git url come back to second terminal and write a command git heroku add and give any alias name I'll give the troop and put your git URL. Okay, I'll take the mistake. Okay, give me a second. And so I have wrote git heroku add. The alias name is troop and I have given the remote git URL. Press enter. Okay, it should be git remote add, not git heroku add. Remote add alias name and your git press enter. So we have initialized our, uh, we have set up our remote git URL now to our local git. So we are done with our fourth step. So now let's go to the deployment step in which we'll deploy our code and test it. So now our project is already connected with the remote Git or Heroku Git. Uh, so let's run the push command. So the push command is git push Heroku master push Heroku master so it start deploying our code first it set up the runtime environment then it set up the versions of node and npm that is defined in our package.json it download all the node modules that is required to run our app installing the all dependencies It takes some time usually. So build successfully created, it generate the build, cache the node module, pruning the dep dev dependencies. Compressing done and it 
we'll able to see our app at this URL that was our URL given by the Heroku create verifying deploy done let's go to our browser and paste this URL morning beach Heroku app press enter now you can see that our app is deployed successfully and now you learn how to deploy your lightning web component open source app to Heroku in five step it's pretty simple and pretty easy follow these steps if you have any doubt or any problem or any issue while deploying you can ask me in the video comment I will definitely help you and thanks for your time have a great day